Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 5 of creating a space shooter with Godot. So we have our player ship moving around the screen, except we can go off the screen and that's obviously not very good. We do not want this to happen. So let's go ahead and fix that. To do so, we're going to go into our player scene and go into the script attached to our player. Basically, in order to fix this, after we change our position in the physics process function here, we have to make sure that we are within the screen. And to do that, we have to know the size of our viewport. Basically, if I take our game here and I resize it a bit just to have these black bars show up, the viewport is the actual viewable portion of our game. So we don't want to let our spaceship go out of that area, go out of that rectangle that is our screen. So right after we change our position, we're going to check we're going to do what's called clamping the x and y values of our position. So we're going to set the x position of ourselves equal to this clamp function. This clamp function is going to take three arguments. The first argument is going to be what we want to set this value to. We want to keep it the same, right? We just moved it. We just changed the x and y of this position up here by this line. So we want to try to keep it the same as to whatever we moved it to. But we want to make sure that it does not go below the value 0, or else that means our player is going to be going off the left-hand side of our screen. And we also want to make sure it doesn't go off the right-hand side of our screen. So how can we get the actual width of the screen for this third parameter, the maximum that we're going to allow this value to get to? To do that, we're going to use the viewport rect. So I'm going to create a variable called view rect, and I'm going to set that equal to get underscore viewport rect. This is going to return a rectangle that represents the viewport. And we can simply pass in for this third parameter the view rect dot size dot x. So what exactly is this here doing? We are saying, hey, set our current position to our current position, if you can keep it that way. But if this value right here, if our current position is less than zero, just return zero. We don't want to go less than zero. Or if this position value right here is greater than whatever the width of our viewport is, then return the width of our viewport. We don't want to go past that. So if we run our game now with these changes, you'll notice that I can't go off the left-hand side of my screen, and I also can't get to the right-hand side of my screen. And that, that holds true even if I resize the window. I still can't get past the left or right. Cool. So we can actually just duplicate this line. We can copy it and simply add it for position.y. So we'll set our y position equal to whatever our y position is, but not if it's less than 0. If it is, we'll just return 0. Or the height of our viewport, so size.y from our view rect. And now if we save the game, we will notice that we now can't exit the top or the bottom of our game window also, as well as the left and right. So this helps our player stay within the screen so that it can't leave. And that's all there is to it. So if you want a quick explanation on this clamp function yet again, we can actually hold the control button and click on this clamp function, and it'll take you to the documentation for it. You'll see that it takes three parameters, value, min, and max. And it says it clamps the value parameter, and it returns the value as long as it's not less than the minimum or the maximum parameters that you specified. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.